everyone, welcome back to Stars and Universe Tarot. Welcome to the turkey and the tea for my water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, alright? We are going to get basically all the tea that you need to know for your Thanksgiving weekend, okay? I am mostly using um, really earthy... Um, Earthy <laughs> tarot decks for the Thanksgiving, you know, holiday, basically fall. I have the Universe's Celtic Tarot right here. We have the Fairy Tarot, and then we have uh, Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels, as well as the Light Seal's Tarot, okay? Let's go ahead and start off. We have the Page of Pentacles here. So somebody's definitely coming in with a solid offer. And this one snuck in, so we have the Four of Wands from the Light Seer's Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and put that at the bottom of the deck, okay? That one snuck in here with the Celtic, with the Universal Celtic Tarot. So you might be getting an offer of um, maybe engagement, maybe some contracts, new contract leases. Let's see. get more into it. My water signs. Can you tell me more about this Page of Pentacles? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So we have the lover's card here. There's definitely a choice. Um, I want to say from the past and the present because there's, uh, especially in this card, you know, I'm sorry for my nails, guys. Don't ignore that. <laughs> um, there's someone, obviously, that's presently on your mind. But there is also someone from the past that's equally thinking about the same person, okay? So I think what you're really worried about is if you're going to be chosen so much as you've already chosen your person. This is your person. Now you just want to know if this person is really down for you or is this person going to turn around and go back to the old? So you're actually hesitating on either A, offering yourself to this person or taking their offer. Because right now they're coming in as a page. So you don't know if this is solid or not. But you're standing in your power. You're like either that person from the past is out completely or we're not moving anywhere. That's right. My water signs. Stand your ground. Yeah. Because you don't want to be put in a blind situation. You're, t you're, you're ready to put down all these burdens. You're not walking blindly into these situations anymore. Okay. Let's see. And what does this mean? Oh, okay. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so either A, your person is going through this and you know that they're going through a difficult time um, really releasing their past person, or this could be you. Okay, and then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. So I want to say that if it's you that is, is having a tr having trouble releasing an ex, then you're basically being called to love yourself first because forgiving with forgiving and learning here, oops, I dropped some things. With forgiving and learning here, it's not that you're forgiving to, to come back to this person. You're forgiving because you know that you learned your lesson and you don't hold it against this person anymore, you know, you, you made mistakes, I made mistakes, I forgive you, I forgive myself, and I'm going to love me even though I made these mistakes, and I'm going to love you even though you made these mistakes, but at a distance. Okay, there's no problem with that. I can love you from way over there. Because your love, if your love is true, your love will truly reach all the way over there, I promise you. With the Ace of Pentacles here, we have a windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others, a very successful project, um, a happy change in your career. Beautiful. You know that you're waiting for something solid. You know. And the four bottom. And you're going you're gonna to stand your ground. Fuck yeah, you're going to stand your ground to it. You're, I'm going to hold on to what I believe in because it's best for me. I know what's best for me because I love myself first. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money and help out those who are less fortunate. 
even if, you know, and this is where, I, again, I say, you can love your person at a distance if they are toxic and they're just, like, this includes family members, this includes friends, this includes a person, you know, the ex, you know, like, just really, if you're really standing in your power and you're loving yourself first, you know that this person is bad news and you can care for them as much as you want. The problem is, as long as they're not trying to fix themselves for themselves, you are going to be stuck in that same cycle with them. So that's up to you whether you want to hold on to your old beliefs and, yeah, this person is going to change even though you already know what the deal is or you're holding on to your self-respect and telling them to basically fuck off. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. No more from the stick. Alrighty. Yeah. You have the Five of Autumn. This is basically the, the Five of Pentacles. This is Taurian energy. This is filling out, a feeling left out in the cold or abandoning ship, basically, or abandon, yeah, abandoning either a way of thinking, a person, something that no longer serves you. Yeah, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing in a career change, and feeling challenged by money issues. We have the Ten of Winters, so this is the Ten of Swords. The resolution to difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, and an end to an addiction or codependency. So when you start to love yourself first, you really do end these codependent relationships. And as long as there's codependency and somebody is leaning on somebody, no, you're, you're not whole. And you're, you're draining this person. So either you're accidentally draining the energy off the person you love or this person is draining you because they keep calling you back into their sphere energetically and you need to tell them no. Like, no is no to Elmo. That's it. No more. <laughs> That's from The Simpsons, if you guys don't know. <laughs> if you guys saw the new Simpsons with, with Bart, like, they, he, over-tickled, he over-tickled Elmo. Like, that is also a reference to the old, the old Simpsons episode. Okay, so you have um, the Magician. This is Virgo Gemini Energy. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. I'm telling you, it's the magic of loving yourself first. <laughs> it's all. That's all it really is. Why? Because the Ten of Pentacles is on its way. At the moment that you receive balance, you will be your own star. Let's go ahead and read the <laughs> read the bottoms. Take steps to ensure that you are financially secure, uh, your children and other loved ones, making wise investments and planning for retirement, honoring family and traditions, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles, this is more earth energy. This is you basically preparing yourself for the universal dream. You got the, you know, the house, the car, the kids, the dog, money in the bank for the generations and, you know, living your best life. And how do you obtain that? Through balance. Take everyone's input into consideration, merge viewpoints, and create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. And then you have look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes, Bring relief from challenging times. I'm telling you, it's literally, man, I can't even, I can't even, like, come to finish explaining to you guys, like, like the, the four of ones. Like, it's just, it's love yourself first. It's like, people, like, really, really want to learn how people manifest, how they manifest healthily, how they get what they want, the way they want to. Like, do you have to believe that it's already yours? Not only do you have to believe that it's already yours, you have to be grateful, thankful that the universe even considered granting you these, you know, these amazing gifts. Like, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. All Aces, all Aces are gifts from the universe. So, if you had, like, the Ace of Sword here, that's a gift of truth. You have the Ace of Pentacles here, that's a gift of materialism. You have, um... The uh, Ace of Cups, it's a gift of love or something that you love. Like, um, that now that one's a little complicated because that one could be a career or something, you know, that, that, um, 
where your love flows as well. But it's still, once again, it's still a gift from the, the universe. And then you have the, the, the Ace of Wands, which is, that's a passionate new relationship that's a gift from the universe. Now, what you do with these gifts, that's up to you, you know? Like, they're basically, like, they're just helping you out. Like, here's the push you needed to keep going. Now, you do what you need to do. Handle your conflict. Oh, let's just go in there. Handle your conflict, and you will be successful. As long as you take the time to really... How do you say this? Okay, you got to take the time to really dig deep into it, what it is that you truly want. This is the like the star in the jar card. This is the hermit, Virgo energy. You know that there's something deep inside that lights you up. And this is definitely what you need to keep moving forward. Because you've worked damn hard for it. And you know why? This I love this. This is actually my favorite eight of pentacles. Why? Because, look, her back is turned, but she's still like, you can see her face, right? She's slightly turned. She didn't turn her back on the past. She's keeping a close eye on the past. Because through this, through this candle, you know, it's like purifying, it's like purifying yourself through fire. You know, like, there, this candle is re that representation that, you know what, I know where I came from and I burn bright because I come from there, but I also know what I'm manifesting. I know that I'm working day and night because this is the, this is the moon cycles. I'm working day and night all the time to create what I want because I want to sit here and watch my manifestations. Thank you telling you gratitude to the universe it's like the moment you start to worry you you manifest sickness in your life and you need to be very careful with that because you need to you need to have hope that the universe is going to take care of you okay any final advice for my water signs all right don't let this moment pass you by don't cry over spilled milk, okay? This is the Five of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is, yeah, I missed out on that opportunity. Yeah, it would have been great, but we need to move on. This is a temporary energy, so don't dwell in it. And don't get stuck in your head about decisions. You know what you're working on. You know what you're working towards. You know what's waiting for you on the horizon. Don't get stuck in indecision while you're in hermit mode. You know that there's conflict that you're coming over because there's success on the other side. Just take your time and work. Work, 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 work. Don't dwell in this energy and don't get stuck in your head. Okay. Go ahead and get any final advice from... The universe has your back, Oracle, by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay. okay. Any final advice? When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. You cannot write this. Did I not tell you, you just need to believe. Do not get in your head. Do not feel left out. Like, it's, there's something better coming through for you. God's rejection is God's protection. And what is yours will never pass you by. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on, I will manifest. You know that we have these natural abilities to walk between the earth my water signs. I'm a Pisces rising. I know about that shit. It's not fun <laughs> sometimes, but it is what it is. So you use your manifestation powers to the best of your ability because you know what's going to happen. You envision your success. Why? Because through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in my world. All right, my water signs. I hope this helped. And you guys have a good Thanksgiving. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.